Hi, it's Carter Hellman, and hi, it's Tucker Hellman, and welcome to Curling Chronicles, Paying It Forward, where we get tips and advice from top curlers. Hey guys, welcome back to Curling Chronicles, Paying It Forward. Today we are here with Team Aver, the U18 Boys Champions of 2023. Thank you guys so much for being here. So are you guys ready? Yes, we are. Yeah. Okay, so first question. So tell us a bit about yourself. My name is Shane Nelson. I curl out of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and I play lead mostly. Oh, I'm it's Jack Wentland. I'm the lead on Team Aber, and I'm 18 and curl out of Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Uh, my name is Benji Perrell, I'm 15, I'm the second on Team Air Rare. My name is Jackson Besselin, I'm 18 years old and I curl out of Eau Claire, Wisconsin. My name is Kay Nebear, I'm the skip for Team Nebear and uh, I curl out of Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Hi, so how did you guys get into curling and how old were you guys? I got into curling by my dad bringing me to a youth curling league and I was six when I started. I actually got into curling with him and his dad, with my dad, at a newbie league. So they kind of brought us in as the two newbies, and I was about 13 or 14 years old. Uh, I think it was on 6 or 7, my dad brought me out to uh, juniors in the morning, and I mean, here we are. <laughs> I started in 7th grade. Our coach's wife got me into it. She was looking to you know, get some people to start a team. Uh, there was a county fair in our town that I visited, and they had curling as an option. And since then, I just I love the sport. And the okay, great. So, next question. So, how long have you been together as a team? And tell us about your curling journey. Um, well, we started about five years ago. Curling. This, started, this is our six years. This is our six years. We did uh, a couple of, like U15 tournaments, and eventually just worked our way up. Yeah, we played at like all the U15 our first year and then we kind of like moved on to trying to qualify for like nationals and whatnot and we kind of got lucky with with Caden here and got into our first U21 nationals and ended up getting fifth place and ever since then we've just been on an upward trend. Okay. So when and how did you know that you worked well as a team? I feel like early on we got to be good friends before good curlers and that really helped. Also all of us living in Eau Claire and yeah. beginning to be together three or four times a week consistently is really nice. Yeah, yeah. Me and Caden were basically like best friends before we started curling and we played baseball together like pitch and catch and duo for how many ever years and then, you know, I <laughs> we got this kid right here. <laughs> the glue. Yeah. Okay, so what personal characteristics do you think make a good team? I think for us, just like teamwork and just especially being friends, like just we're out there just having fun with each other and I mean the rest just kind of falls into place. I think we just kind of know that like we're all trying our best so like we're not gonna rip on each other if we're playing bad or anything so we just kind of pick each other up and then we play better because of it. So what is the most important skill to get right for the positions uh, you guys play? Um, well for my position I'd say being able to hit the forefoot at any time and being calm, cool, and collected under pressure is good for me. Yeah, I'd say you just gotta have a wide variety of shots in your bag and be able to like pick pick Benji up, pick Caden up. Um, at second, it's really important like make sure you're dialing in on your hit weights and like hitting and sticking in this game is so important. Yeah, for me at lead, it's just all those finesse shots, guards, draws, all those like lightweight hits are really important. I'm the same as him. So what's the most challenging thing about your position? I think at lead, it's just like really honing into that like lightweight and just like getting it exactly where you want it. Yeah. Having like a good amount of finesse and also like executing your shots. I'd say it's just like the wide variety that my position has. It's like a guard one and then throwing it as hard as I can on the next one. And then, you know, calling shots for this kid. I'd say uh, the hardest thing for me is um, being perfect. I just have to be perfect, otherwise we're in trouble. And um, I like that job. It's a lot of fun. So can you tell us about your team practice and training? 
Well, we practice every Tuesday morning before school at 6 a.m. and then we play two leagues together. So that's three times a week. And then if we're not playing on weekends, we uh, are practicing on weekends. Yeah, we throw probably five or six times a week. Yeah. And all of us are hitting the gym at least three, four, five, six times a week. So. Okay, so uh, tell us about your coach, Mike Poplinski. Uh, he was a uh, 98 Olympian in Nagano. 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 And then, he's, I mean, he was in the junior field before that. He wanted to start coaching a team all from the same club. And so he, he called up my dad, Caden's dad, kind of worked us all together. He's also, like, really great with kids because, I mean, we all started when we were young and he's been a teacher yeah. for so long. and. He really just knew how to, like he was a baseball coach too, so he knew how to coach and be good with kids, so he's the best at what he does. Okay, so what is your mindset if uh, you're down in points and you want to stay focused and motivated? I'd say just not getting frustrated, staying calm and trying to find a way to score two. I mean, you don't have to make it all up in one end, unless it's the eighth end, but you don't have to make it all up in one end. Yeah. I mean, just playing to your strengths. We like playing our game that helps us get to our groove. Like, we work better as a team. Yeah. Really just being there for each other and, I mean, having a little fun with it too. Like, you never play good if you're not having fun. So what's next? As in, what are your personal goals while you're currently? I mean, Olympics. Hopefully. Hopefully Olympics one day. I hope this, this, year. Year. this year we just win Junior Nationals. Yeah, and cool. Do good at Worlds. Hopefully, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. early goal, and then Olympics is probably the long term goal. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, in addition to curling, what do you guys like to do for fun? My favorite hobby outside of curling is golfing. I golf a lot over the summer, so I golf with him a lot over the summer. You know, I mean, hanging out with these guys, like drumming too. Yeah, hanging Sports. out with these guys a ton. I golf with those two a ton. I hang out with these guys, and I play a lot of soccer. So what advice do you have for new or young curlers? I think just like finding a team that you work well with and just like have fun with and just can like be great friends with, but then also just being dedicated, yeah. spending a lot of time on the ice, but then also just like taking your time off the ice and like having fun with the guys. I'd say just, just love the game. Yeah. You, don't, you don't need to be like a rock star at U18 Nationals like these guys right away. You can. You can just enjoy it until you're, until you're good enough to go compete and then just compete as hard as you can. Okay, are you guys ready for some fun questions? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so tell us about uh, your mascot, ABL Tim. So we found this little guy last year when we were at this tournament actually in our, in our linden closet at the Airbnb. <laughs> so if the owner of the Airbnb is watching, he's ours now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, and yeah. So he comes everywhere with us. He's traveled to a lot of different cool places and he's going to yep. be in Finland and South Korea this year. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so of course you spend like lots of time together, right? Uh -huh. So let's see how well you actually know each other. Oh, okay. no. Oh, okay. So what is Jackson's biggest pet peeve? <laughs> oh, I know it. I know it. It's when I chew out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's when he's smacking his lips. <laughs> Jackson, what is Benji's favorite food? Benji's favorite food? I don't think Benji knows his favorite food. I don't know. <laughs> but I know he loves raspberries, so yeah. <laughs> he, he eats containers in like five minutes. I mean, it is wild. <laughs> so Benji, can you name Jack's favorite music artist? Oh. Oh. Uh, Juice World, maybe? I don't no? know. I listen to all of Yeah, <laughs> Jack's, Jack's all over the place. Yeah. Okay, Jack, what is Shane's go-to snack before their game? Oh, uh, I mean, he eats a lot of food. I mean, <laughs> if, I'm being, if I'm being honest, he always has a okay. snack. Um, I mean, it ranges anywhere from candies to granola bars to just five yeah. burgers. <laughs> don't eat it all. Or a full 20-inch pizza. Yeah. That shit yeah. happened. That shit happened. So, Shane, what time does Caden usually go to bed? And can you name everybody's shoe size? Oh, okay, dude. so Caden, probably like... Anywhere from like 10 p.m. to like 1 in the morning. 
I would say <laughs> usually 10 p.m. Usually 10 p.m. He's, 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 he's a really high over. Hayden shoe size. <laughs> like maybe a nine and a half, ten. I am an 11. <laughs> oh, you're a nine. I'm a nine and a half. Oh. Ten and a half? Oh, so I'm an 11. You're like a 13. 13, <laughs> yeah. Can you name your own shoe size? I, 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 what size. is your shoe size? Like 12 and a half, I think. He thinks. Okay, uh, so who are your Olympic curling heroes, and have you already met them? I have met John Schuster, who um, won, and Matt Hamilton, Chris Wise. Um, those guys are, I forgot Lance Simon. Lance Simon is really cool, too. They're all really nice guys. They'll sit down and talk to you, even though we're really young, and we want to be like them one day and win it all. Yeah, they're, I've, I've met all of them, too, at different camps and just, like, like up in Duluth, because they're... Like they're really just great people, and they, they don't care if you're like 18 or 80. Or... I see. Mike Poplinski, our coach, is one of the Olympic heroes. He's yeah, yeah. Both our coach and all the Olympic guys and everyone, just great community. I'll have to go with my coach too. He's just an amazing person. Okay, so where are you guys' favorite places you grow? I mean, definitely here. We've been here two years in a row. Denver, Colorado is awesome. Um, then also, we went to Boston last year. That was a blast. I think I kind of have to go with Finland. So that, that's probably my probably my number one. Yeah. One of my favorite clubs was Oshawa. The ice was so yeah. fast and just a different experience. It was like playing on a yeah. slide. It was really fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay, probably the most important question. Uh, where's your favorite place to get cheese curds in Eau Claire? Milwaukee Burger. That place is really good. With I'd say Mowgli's. It's a it's a little like bar restaurant downtown that one of my neighbors owns. All right, very unpopular opinion. But I love the Culver's cheese curds. <laughs> Everybody guy, hates me for it. Guy. I love the Culver's cheese curds. <laughs> I say Milwaukee Burger as well. I'd have to say Demeter's. It's like a Greek restaurant. Okay, so, am I Carter or Tucker? Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. That is Carter. That, that is Tucker. No! No! no. Wait, did we get it right? Yeah. You said, you, you shook your head no. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker. 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 Oh, ooh, both of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Whichever one helps you win Crokinole. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just Jackson's teammate. Hey. I got you, bro. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, thank yeah, you guys. Good luck today. Thanks for having us. Let's go. Oh.